What's up guys, uh, so there's this uh, program I want to talk about for iPhone and iPod Touch. Um, if you've seen my previous video uh, about how to control your computer from your iPhone or iPod Touch, like you actually can control your computer and actually see the screen on your computer from your iPhone or iPod. Uh, and it's through a VNC server. Um, and yeah, you can control your computer from that. Okay, well now a new software has been released. It was released about a week ago, but uh, I'm kind of making the video a little bit late on it. Uh, it's called VNC, V-E-E-N-C-Y. <laughs> um, but what it lets you do is control your iPhone from your computer screen. And watch this, not touching my screen. Yes. That's it. So, uh... Let me go back to the home screen. Okay, so that's what that's basically what you can do. Uh, so if you want to do that, keep watching. Um, first, what you're going to need to download is a software. As I said before, you're going to need to open up Cydia, and the program is called VNC. Uh, I'll display that on the screen just so you know. V E E N C Y. Uh, you don't need any sources for it. It's with the Telesphere source, which is built into Cydia. So you shouldn't need any sources. Just look in all packages and look under the V's, and you'll see VNC. All right. Um, now, what you're going to need to do is download. Uh, I rec you can download a lot of programs for this, uh, but I recommend Real VNC uh, for your computer. I'll have a link in the description over here to download that. Uh, just download it, install it in your computer. Make sure you install every part of it. So go. Just I'm not going to go through the installation process with you because I'm pretty sure you can install something on your phone. But um, all right. And now I'm going to show you how to connect to this with Real VNC. Link in the description. Okay, so now we're going to go to my computer screen. Okay, so once you have all parts of the VNC installed on your computer, you're going to go to Start down here at the bottom. Go to All Programs, and you will see the folder called Real VNC. Just go over on that. I'm doing this left-handed, so hopefully I don't mess up. All right, now you're going to go, and I say that, and then I mess up. Okay, you'll see all these three selections. Just go to VNC Viewer 4 or it just may be VNC viewer for you just depending on what version of VNC you get um, and you're going to click on run VNC viewer sorry I'm messing up I'm doing this left handed Do go to run VNC viewer okay not the listening VNC viewer run VNC viewer click on that and then you will get this pop up right here uh, right beside server what you're going to need to do is type in the IP address of your iPhone that your iPhone is connected to like the Wi-Fi or your iPod touch okay I'm letting it load up. My phone is very slow. I need to restore it. Okay, so go to Wi-Fi. And as I said, or I didn't say it before, but you need to be on Wi-Fi for this. So select the uh, Wi-Fi network you're on. Hit the blue arrow beside it. Okay, there we go. All right, and now make sure, or look at the beside IP address, sorry. And you will see your IP address, right? Beside IP address, that is what you're going to type in right there. And as you see, it matches. Okay. So once you got that IP address typed in, go to the home screen on your iPhone and hit OK. And everything should work. You may need to turn off some firewalls or something if it's not letting you. Alright, now what, you, what you'll get on your computer on your iPhone is this little thing. You're just going to need to hit accept. And there you go. Control your iPhone from your computer. And I will demo this now. Let me set the computer on the stand. Or my, op, my camera on the stand. Okay, so as I did before, you can do everything that you can do on your iPhone, except for the uh, multi-touch feature. I don't think you can do that, like if you open up a Safari page, and then you zoomed in on it. Like, I don't think you can do that. You I mean, you can see it doing it, but you can't actually do it from here, obviously. That'd be cool. <laughs> Anyways, I guess you could if you had the HTC uh, TouchMark computer. That would be awesome. But yeah, that's it, guys. You can control your computer. Um, if you're wanting to go, if you're in an app, as you see, you can't click a home button. Uh, but if you right click, it will take you to the home screen. And you can see basically everything. And if you're d wanting to send somebody a text message, a lot faster way to text message, you wouldn't have to go on your phone. Alright, so that's it, guys. Faster way to type. Like, as you see, if you opened up Safari and you typed in. You got in the field, or the typing field, sorry. Just close that out. Alright, you can see you can type really fast.
a little bit slow on my computer, but yeah. Just depending on your Wi-Fi will depend how how laggy this is. All right, so that's it, guys. Uh, just close it out when you're ready to quit. Oops. And that's it, guys. Make sure you uh, join the forums at tiesiphonehelp.com uh, and keep checking back in there for updates, blog posts, cracked apps, tons of stuff. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe.